Hey the boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another Battlefield 5 video. So today I will be bringing back another old series, ironically called Old School Sniping, in which I essentially do as we gaming commentators used to do back in the days, and that's just commenting over our gameplay, specifically regarding the gameplay. So I'll let you guys know what I did and why I did, and that's gonna be it. So I'd say, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so as you saw in the beginning, my first step right here was to actually put up a small wall of sandbags, as you can do in Battlefield 5, in order to provide me with more cover. You can see I keep ducking behind it. And my main goal right here in the first half of this video, kind of, is just to try to pick off any enemies that are running off to the hill or up the hill to the first objective right here. And you can see when I'm reloading, I'm falling back a bit so that the enemies are not getting a cheeky angle on me, so I'm making the best use of my cover, of my small sandbags that I build up here. And I just just keep checking and I try to see if there's anyone there. Every now and then, as you can see right here, I also move back to see if there is a new threat around the corner and if I check and as you saw there was nothing, or at least nothing that did concern me at this point in time, I move back to my other spot, check that as well, there's also nothing, so I move back around all the way in hopes of finding another enemy on this side. And this guy right here caught me kind of off guard, so I switched to my pistol really quickly, but my teammate already finished him off. And then right here again, of course, I see more people. So this is essentially where the people, or better said, the enemy players are now. So I'm trying to pick him up from this side before I will be later on moving back around to the other side to see what's going on. Again, just doing a couple of long range shots and they're mostly stationary, so it's pretty easy. Missed the last one, a little too low, should have aimed a little higher. I'm still missing my mill dots for those kind of shots. And of course, always going back to the ammo crates right here and the health kits so that I can better use my gadgets, like the flare gun right here, to see if they're now pushing up, because this is close right here. And you can see I, I just got hit there, so I want to make sure to see if there are more enemies around. And right here is a little bit of a tricky spot. I'm, I'm just kind of waiting checking corners each side if there's like a threat I'm just calling for a medic but there are no medics around so I have to go back around to the health kit however this is kind of dangerous so what I'm doing is I'm reloading my flare once again firing into that direction to see if there are more enemies I can see there are two on the minimap so potentially this will kill me very quickly so my decision is to move around not get a health kit and just play it safely from a further position that I used to be at in the beginning right here and since I haven't been here for a while the enemies are not expecting me so by switching the positions like I'm doing right here, it's very easy to pick them off because uh, you're not going to be, um, well, they, they, they won't be able to anticipate you very well is what I'm trying to say. So this is something you should keep in mind when trying to play a recon, especially if you're kind of defensively like right here. However, of course, I didn't pay attention because I was looking uh, through my scope for too long, so the guy caught me off guard again, down to 40 HP. I'm just trying to make the best kind of prone head glitch thing that I can and try to keep off a little bit. And now this is a tricky spot because I'm low on health. I do not have any more like ammunition for my flare gun. I'm just trying to push him back a little bit. And you can see in a second I'm also trying to throw my nade but it's not gonna work. So essentially I just have to fall back and I'm zigzagging while I'm doing this. So I'm switching and alternating between the wagons and there's just so much shake going on. So I cannot possibly go back and aim through my scope and try to hit anyone because there's just literally an earthquake going on. So I can't aim like that. And of course, because of that, I moved back, back to safety again, I was trying to use my flare gun. So you see this, you will see this a lot of me. I, I do not really keep very well track of what I'm doing. So I will just put out my flare gun and not use it. Also right here, you see I kept moving further back because the enemies are now here. If I would have gone to the same spot as I was in the beginning, the guy that I just killed would have been able to kill me because he was so much closer than me. So with a fully automatic weapon, of course, he has the upper hand in that kind of scenario. Just quickly checking the score and then trying to decide what I'll do next. However, I'm kind of restricted right here. I mean, the cover is pretty decent. I got top, uh, left and right. However, I cannot move up any further, so I'm just trying again to pick him up from the range because my HP is still somewhat low, 62. And also uh, my gadgets or like nades and ammunition for my flare gun is also zero. So this means I'll just essentially right here have to hang back and wait a little bit until I get some more ammo or health back and then I can play more aggressively. But before that, I can't really do much. However, I can see that my team is moving up a little bit, so I'm also doing this, and of course the objective right here now has been destroyed, so we didn't actually make it in time. However, this also means that most likely there's the reason, uh, there's the probability now that people won't be going for this spot again. I mean, of course, they kind of have like more control over it now, because we're not contesting it anymore, but they don't, they, like, they have no objective there anymore as well, so they're just trying to go around the other side. And this is again where I'm positioning myself right here, in between the old objective and the new one, so they have to cross 
and when they do I will be able to see them and hopefully kill them however again I got shot and this is like my problem this whole gameplay over I really never got much health and I should have gotten the health earlier in the beginning I should have taken the risk when there were two people spotted by my flare gun and again I didn't do that so I just have to fall back and fall back and keep playing defensively because my uh, HP was just so low and this again kind of ties into my gameplay right here because I keep falling back and trying to pick off the enemies that are trying to flank or cross towards the objective and I, I keep trying to hit this guy but of course he's not peeking so after a little while they said okay he's not gonna peek so I might as well like, go again back to the other side check that and see if there's someone there and if I can get some cheeky kills on this side however I got a little bit of ammo back right here which is very nice so I can keep shooting and use my flare gun just checking the left side right here you can see I'm actually looking on the right and using the flare gun to my left to see that no one is actually flanking me or sneaking up on me however once again I got shot and since my HP was already very low I still have to do this weird caterpillar crawler snake dance and try to stay as safe as possible until I regain some of my HP and I think you regain about 50 HP so I can never really get back to full HP which keeps uh, me actually from getting any more aggressive so I'll just have to fall back more and more so quick shot right there to this guy and just trying to I guess scare him off and didn't really hit it now finally I'm moving back trying to get some more ammo which I get right here which is very nice and then of course keep swimming need medic need medic but I I don't really find uh, health and instead of trying to harass the medic I just decide then to okay well if no one's healing me I'll just play as I did before trying to hang back a little bit playing kind of like a scout sniper role just keeping my distance so that my low health won't be that big of a deal at least most of the time and right here I got the feeling that there was a sniper behind me and like yeah he got me eventually the weird 3d spotting kind of is off in the alpha at some points so he killed me right here and of course there are no medics around so we'll be getting back to the spawn screen any second now well actually there is one within 12 meters but my other squad mate died so he wasn't able to revive me so now I'm again just getting back to the spawn right here and this is like one of the more annoying things I think in Battlefield 5 it's just a walking like if you're not in a squad and in this game uh, my, my squad mate wasn't uh, particularly uh, objective based I'd say uh, I just have to, to keep moving on my own and this makes it a lot harder so whenever you're playing Battlefield 5 make sure to you got a good squad this will greatly improve your uh, your gameplay experience and overall score as well I guess so yeah right now we got just a, a small walk back to the objective and keep in mind or better uh, see like how I move from cover to cover or at least I try to and I've kind of have like this little route in my head so moving from cover to cover and then always while I'm moving from cover to cover I check the left and the right side similar to how you would do when you're crossing the street kind of so just making sure no one is around no one's flanking you because as I said before in my recon tips video this game can get quite chaotic and I actually decided to push up here I got enough health so this actually is an option for me however I should not be too aggressive and still keep some distance otherwise my a uh, my high zoom scope will actually get in the way of things and would make aiming harder so again always keeping a little bit of distance as a sniper will be recommended now my health is still good missing an easy shot right here however I get him and now however I'm down to 8 HP and this is very risky what I'm doing right here I actually should have gone back should have gotten some some health or something but I saw the other guy right here wasn't really going for the defuse so I thought oh what the hell I mean if there's like an explosion there now it's gonna kill me anyways no matter if I have like 8 HP or like 50 or 100 so I'll just go for it and I actually got it which was very nice because I got some backup from my team right there they were pushing up as well just got the spawn I think so this was also very nice and then again I just kind of circle around these pieces of cover and try to pick people off now it's getting pretty risky because they're already up on the hill so in this point in time uh, you have to be very careful this is why I always immediately fall back to cover this is not the best piece of cover because I can't escape from there which is why I'm leaving it immediately again and trying to use my trusty left flank that I've been using quite a lot here uh, especially with the sandbags up this is really really helpful because you can just kind of circle around from the left to the right side or better said the inner side and the outer side so uh, by doing that you get two different angles and if you keep alternating you also kind of 
will well, not really confuse the enemies, but once again, it will make it a little bit hard for them to actually anticipate uh, you and where you're coming from. So you can see many of them are now dropping in. This is actually my call uh, to, to move back a little bit, and I missed two more easy shots on the parachuting guy, and I'm trying to, to pick him off, kind of. It got me, and I, I wanted this guy. And this was not the, the proper decision. I mean, I got a body shot off, but I should have gone back earlier, because they're now very close. So essentially, once again, my job is to fall back Especially with my lower health, again, 57, not the best piece of health, so I want to try and stay alive, because staying alive is very important right here, as I predicted, they just swarm me, so it was actually good that I circled around to the left side, and I said before, now we're on the outer side, and that's what I meant, you can use the inner and the outer side, depending on where the enemies are, and of course, it works out kind of a little bit, I'm still not completely used, I mean, this gameplay is a little older, uh, it was just for like also from the beginning of the alpha, but I, I didn't really get the complete player movements yet So I, I kind of with some very easy shots, so I hope you you can bear with that And of course right here once again using my flare gun trying to see if there are more people and there are tons of people Missing no scope can't fire from this position the angle is too shallow So I have to move around once again to the inner side and try to move up a bit as well because the hill is actually blocking my line of sight and then I have to try and see if there are more people. I see someone is on C, and my teammates got the other side, so I'll just move around again behind the cover, not in front of it. Very important, so you're not getting killed. Checking right here, no one's there, and then I'm defusing it. However, there was someone there. Did you expect that? Did you see him? You, you know what I mean now, right? It's, it's very hard to sometimes spot the people without 3D spotting. So, however, I got friendly Medic Caterpillar right here, and he just slides to my rescue and <laughs> revives me, which is pretty awesome since I didn't get it the first time. But yeah, uh, I think this pretty much wraps it up for this gameplay. I think we heavily defended it, and right now the gameplay should be wrapping up since they do not have many tickets left. And I once again just go back to my left flank and see if I can pick some more people off. But besides that, this pretty much wraps it up for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of old-school sniping a series that I used to do for Battlefield 4 as well, so I might leave a link to that playlist in the description down below if you're interested. But yeah, this was the first episode of Old School Sniping for Battlefield 5. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more gameplay videos like this one, and Lucky Skill Faker out.